Hi there. Welcome back to the Silver Crown, my transition back to natural gray hair. Yesterday was wash day. Um, and I washed my hair with Live Clean Fresh Water Hydrating Shampoo. This is a non-sulfate shampoo. It says it replenishes and re infuses dry hair. And then I uh, finished with this, their conditioner. But I, well, let me just back up a minute. I started with this, Beautiful Textures Tangle Taming Leave-In. The reason I did that is because my hair felt very, 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 very dry. And so I used my spray bottle. I just put a little water in it, regular spray bottle, put some water in it and dampened my hair. I didn't saturate it. I just made it damp, which is what the instructions say on damp hair. And I put it, I start putting that on my hair and it really did start to um, tame the texture a bit. So I was able to finger detangle and then I went through with my comb, my Y2 comb, and finished detangling like that. Uh, and then I washed it. So I know that sounds crazy, right? But you want to have as least amount of damage and breakage as possible. And when your hair is already dry, you need something to soften it so that the cuticles aren't resistant and they're not snapping against each other. So anyway, that's the way I did that. Um, but I've been noticing when I've done my hair lately that there's one side of my hair right here on the back that... It seems to be very damaged, like it has a lot of frizz. No matter what I do, it has a lot of frizz in that one spot, and it doesn't seem to hold um, curl or anything when I try to put it in Bantu knots. So um, today I decided that I was going to um, give myself a trim. Now, last night when I got finished washing my hair and everything, I braided it. Um, I had it in like five braids. I had a big flat twist going this way and then I have five flat twists going back um, on the sides and back of my hair just through the night um, and it was fine it feels soft today it doesn't feel dry you know I mean it's dry but it's not like snapping dry uh, it's not damp or wet it shouldn't be but anyway it doesn't feel under moisturized um, when I got finished doing my hair I just went ahead and used my mixture that I have and I added some patchouli um, essential oil to it for fragrance. Oops, sorry about the noise, y'all. And um, and I used that, and whatever I had left over, I just used it on me. So I took my hair out today to see how it felt. It still felt soft, which was good, but that frizz was there, and I thought, you know, it's been several 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 weeks since I gave myself a trim so I thought maybe I need to check for split ends you know and I checked for split ends and I had a lot of split ends in that one spot I was almost tempted to do a big chop but I'm just not comfortable with the length of my hair yet with the process hair still on there so I decided not to do a big chop but to do a trim so uh, for me to do the trim I got out my trusty um, my comb, my brush, and my scissors to start my trim. It is amazing how much my hair has grown. I'm telling you, when I did it yesterday, uh, you know, it felt really, really thick. Okay, I expect it to feel thick because I've been taking MSN and, you know, I've been trying to eat more veggies and all that kind of stuff, but <laughs> this stuff is no joke. Okay, let me just tell you. Anyway, I wish I had taken a picture of it today when I took it out because before I took it out, it looked shrunken and all that. And okay, this is going to be a piece of cake. Dude, when I took it out and because it rained, it started swelling or something. I don't know. It's crazy. But anyway, I got the trimming taken care of, but I had to comb it through. I had to use my brush, all those tools I just showed you, and my scissors, and I got it done. So the finished product 
looks like this. Well, I, let me show you how much hair came off first, though. Now, I know you're probably thinking uh, it really didn't look like that much. It was just kind of scattered. So I gathered it up, and it turns out to be this much hair. And I did have one section where I went, oops, I think I could. I think I cut off a little bit too much, but still, I, that one section feels like it's just damaged, you know, from chemical and relaxer and coloring and all that from years ago. So anyway, this is um, the full amount of what I took off with scissors. Not just scissors, but I was going through my hair and pulling on the ends, gently pulling and just taking out any shredded, shredded, shedded hair. Uh, that the wide tooth comb is not going to get out. And then I also, like I said, I use this to help um, get some of that shedded hair out as well. So um, I'm going to show you a couple of pictures of what the back looks like. Because let me tell you, this stuff is so thick. I could not believe it. Okay, it was a nightmare. And it took me, um, this is just taking it out today, um, trimming it and rebraiding it and and it's so much it's so thick i only put it in three braids one here one here and a big french braid in the back so this is what this is what this looks like So that's the end result of my trim. Um, I guess it really has grown considerably because I took off a good inch in some places and I still have some damage, a lot of damage, particularly in that one spot. But it's long enough for me to be able to twist it like this. Now, I wasn't doing this, you know, for a fashion statement. I'm really just still trying to protect what's left of my ends. And, um, just put it in a protective style for now because I will probably, uh, the next time I go out, I'll probably have it wrapped anyway. I could go out like this. It's not very neat, but it was just very difficult for me to do because it's so thick. So anyway, wow. <laughs> I see why people go to salons, but I ain't going. All right. Y'all already saw my, <laughs> y'all already saw my thing on that. Plus I'm here in Canada and yeah, not where I am. There ain't no salons that going to touch me anyway. So there you go. Anyhow, thanks for stopping by. I hope you're taking advantage of the other videos that are on the channel. Please look at them and uh, learn what you can. Share your insight. Leave your comments below in the comment section. I also have other channels that I'm on. I, I'm living in an RV, so I'm in my tiny bathroom. For those of you that are here for the first time, thank you for stopping by. I hope you'll subscribe. Um, I do have a video on here about bad salon experiences and, and weaves and wigs and... Um, uh, braids and things like that and I hope you will take advantage of the information that's on there and uh, take it to heart consider what you're doing and um, you know at your own risk do whatever you want to do with your own hair right there you go so thanks for stopping by any guy anyway and um, I hope to see you guys next time uh, shout out to my new subscribers thank you very much too please leave your comments below if you don't have anything to say and you just enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up, all right? At least I'll know you were there, okay? Because a lot of times people are viewing, and I can tell that you're viewing because I can see the numbers, but there's no there's no comment. I don't know why, but that's the way it is, okay? I look at videos too, and I don't always comment, so but thank you, you know? All right, so take care. I'll see you next time. Bye.